Hello everyone. This video is a continuation of section 2.4 from Math in Our World. In the first half of this section we talked about using Venn diagrams and sets to solve problems and we looked at some examples which had uh, different survey data as well as uh, maybe just some statistics about different groups. In this video I wanted to do a couple of the harder examples from this section and we still want to use sets and Venn diagrams to solve problems, but this time the given information is a little bit different than the ones that we've done so far. So let's take a look at the first example. And you may want to have a hard copy of this on hand if you want to take a screenshot of this or refer to the textbook or the posted PowerPoint, right? Because I'm going to go on to a, um, another page with just a small version of this problem. Okay, um, this is a problem about risk factors for a heart attack. So I won't read this out loud to you. You can pause and read this through if you like. All right, but one thing to notice, um, we do want to figure out what is the universal set so we can kind of orient ourselves to the problem. So this is a survey of heart attack survivors. All right, so here we have the cardinality of the universe. 690 people were surveyed. And then the other thing is to try to figure out what the three two or three sets could be, and in this case we do have three, seems to be the, the most dangerous, dangerous risk factors for heart attacks. We have high blood pressure, let's call that set A, high cholesterol, and smoking, that can be set C. All right, so let's go on and we'll try to fill in, um, if you remember where we have eight regions in this Venn diagram, so the goal is to find the cardinalities of these eight regions, and then the diagram is complete. Okay, so let's pick through the information. Let's see if we know any of those eight regions right away. Well, the first thing we know, the cardinality of the universe, 690. And let me just label my, my sets again as well. So A was blood, high blood pressure. Oops high blood pressure, okay, B was high cholesterol, and C was smoking. Okay, so, uh, 690 heart attack survivors, 62 had only high cholesterol. Okay, that's actually one of those eight regions. If you, okay, so we know high cholesterol is circle B. Now, circle B overlaps with circles A and C, so we know that some of those people also had high blood pressure and were smokers, but we do have a portion of circle B, this region here, that represents people who only had high cholesterol. So that's the cardinality we're given. We know that there were 62 people in that region. Uh, 36 had only smoking, so again we know this region, and 93 had only high blood pressure, and that's here. Alright, so this one definitely starts out with different information. You may recall some of the last ones we did. We started in this middle section, we, we knew how many people had all three of those risk factors or something like that. Alright, 370 total with high cholesterol. Well, now we have the cardinality of set, uh, let's see, that's set B. Because the problem doesn't specify whether or not those people also had the other two risk factors. So we just know, in general, if a person has high cholesterol, then they were counted in uh, that total. All right, so looking at the diagram, we know that that's set B but there are three unknown regions, so I don't think right now we can really do anything with that number to figure out how we should divide up the rest of the people between those three regions. All right, so we'll just record that and move on. 159 with high blood pressure. So that's region, or uh, circle A. Oh, sorry, uh, reading on to the next line there. 159 with high blood pressure and cholesterol that didn't smoke. Okay, so if we try to figure out what set this is, let's use some of our set operation symbols. We have high blood pressure and cholesterol. So that's A and B, or A intersected with B. 
that didn't smoke. So we could say minus C. All right, or A and B, but not C. All right, so if we look at the regions, see if we can figure out where this is. Well, A intersected with B is here, but then not C, we can't count these people in the middle region because those also were smokers. So this is talking about this region here. All right, and we know the cardinality. Uh, let's see, that was 159 people. So we can label that in. Okay, 23 that smoked and had high cholesterol, so C and B, but not high blood pressure, so minus A. Okay, so C and B is here, and minus A is just this region. All right, and that's 23. And finally, 585 had at least one risk factor. Well, where would that be? At least one risk factor. All right, so that means it could be one or two or three. So that's talking about basically anything in these three circles. The only people that don't have at least one risk factor would be people outside in region eight. So if we set that in terms of sets, that would be a union, A or B or C. So A union B union C, and that cardinality is 585. Okay, so let's go on from there. We only have three regions left. Um, let's tackle, if we looked, if we tried to look at A here, okay, we have two missing regions there, and we don't really know either of those. So that's, we, we need something where only maybe one region is missing. All right now, if you look at circle B, this is good. We have one missing region left. And we also know the total of how many people are in set B. All right, so this is like a little, a little algebra problem. If we label that with an X, we know that the cardinalities of that region and the other three regions should add up to be 370. Oops. Equals 370. All right, so then we just need to subtract those three numbers from 370 and then that should give us the missing region and let's see that would be 126 okay okay so now we're getting somewhere um, now this region we don't know how many are in we've used this we don't know how many people are in set A or set C, so we can't do much there. We only have two pieces of information left. We know the universe, all right, but if we try to jump to using that fact, we have two out of the eight regions in the universe are missing. All right, so that's not helpful. But we do know, let's focus on this one, we do know how many people should be in all of the different regions that make up those three sets. So this is good. We need to know what number we can put in that region so that all three of those circles add up to 585. All right, so subtract all of these numbers from 585 and then see what's left. And you should get 86. Okay, and then we just have region 8 left. Well, we know the total of all eight regions. That should be 690. So we just want to subtract all of these from 690, and we know that that total is 585. Okay, so 690 minus 585. Oops. And that gives you 105. So there are 105 people who didn't have any of those risk factors. All right, so now we have our completed Venn diagram, and the only thing left to do now is to answer the four questions. So how many survivors had all three risk factors? That's that middle region. 
126. How many had exactly two of the three risk factors? Okay, so exactly two, that would be these three regions here, right? There's some overlap. For instance, this one overlaps A and B, but not C. All right, so if you add those three numbers, let's do that now. 159 plus 86 plus 23 is 268. How many had none? That's the outside region, 105. And then what percentage were smokers? Okay, so uh, first of all, we need to know how many smokers there were. So add up the four numbers in circle C. And that gives you 271. Now we need a percentage, so we need to divide by the total. Well, we know the total of the universe is 690. Okay, and then dividing that gives, uh, let's see, point three nine two seven five dot dot dot. All right, so we could say about thirty nine percent. All right, remember for percent decimal to percent, you move your decimal two places to the right. And that's it for that problem. All right, let's try another one again with some different given information. All right, so you may want to pause, read through this. Okay, so we are still dealing with the same universal set of heart attack patients. All right, so we still know the cardinality of the universe is 690. Now we're also talking about three other risk factors for heart attacks, obesity, family history of heart disease, and stress. Okay, so let's let A be obesity, B can be heart disease, family history of heart disease, and C can be stress. All right, we know the cardinality of the universe. We're still talking about a survey of 690 people. Okay. Out of that group, we have 213 people had a family history of heart disease. Okay, so that would be the cardinality of set B. And out of those, 47 also suffered from stress but not obesity. So that would be region B and C but not Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, yeah, 47 also suffered from stress, but not obesity, so not A. All right, and that's 47. And that's a cardinality, not the set itself. So I should really have this big parentheses, the cardinality of that set. Okay, 60. All right, and this is still out of those people, so out of the 213 that have heart disease, 60 were obese, but had no stress issues. And 12 were neither stressed nor obese. So that would be heart disease, but not obese and not stressed. Okay, next sentence. Stress was a factor for 170 total. So that's set C. Eight of whom had no family history and weren't obese. So not A and not B. and the cardinality of that, that's eight people. And then there were 396 patients with none of these three risk factors. Well, that's this outside region. And if we wanted to describe that in sets, that would be 
the complement of all three circles. So that's A union B union C complement. Okay, so we have one of the eight regions labeled right away. Now let's see if we can go through the rest of these. And you may want to pause and try this on your own and then and then listen or just you know view the answers at the end here. All right. So what I'm doing is looking through, seeing if any of these numbers I can use to fill in any of the eight regions right away. All right, well, I can't do anything with this one, the cardinality of set B. I don't know how to distribute those people among the four different regions that make up set B. All right, so I'm looking for something more specific. Um, how about the second one, though? This one here, B and C, but not A. That looks hopeful. That's this region. Okay, 47 people. All right, um, B and A, but not C. So here's B and A, and then not C, not the middle section, just here. All right, that's 60 people. All right, and then this one was B only, not A, and not C. Well, that's this region. Right. And then if you wanted to kind of look back, actually, I think we can use this now. The total number of people in set B is 213. All right, so if you subtract from 213, subtract 60 and 12 and 47, and that leaves you with 94 people that must be in this region. All right, so a, a check, all four of those numbers should add up to 213. Okay, so I think I'm done with, with circle B. I'm going to erase that. And I'm done with these. Okay. Now what's left? I know, uh, let's see, I've already used this fact, how many people are in the outside region. And how about this? I don't think is specific enough again because we're missing two of the regions in circle C. But if I look at the next one, this is people in set C, but not A or B, which is this region. Eight people in there. Okay, and now I can go back 170 people in circle C. So do 170 minus 94 and 47 and eight. 94 minus 47 minus 8, and that gives 21. All right, this looks good. Um, this region, unfortunately, we don't have a total number of people in set A, so we can't use that. However, this is the only region that's left that's missing, so I should have enough info to figure it out. Um, the only fact that I didn't use yet was the fact that there are 690 people in the universe. So that's actually what we want to do now. You want to do 690, that's the total of all eight regions, and just subtract those other seven numbers that we have, and then see what's left. Okay, and I just did that subtraction, and I get 52 for that region. Okay, so if you wanted to check this, um, really what you would do is just go back through and make sure everything adds up to the numbers that you were given. So for example, I should add up all eight numbers and make sure that I still get 690, right? Or add up all of the, uh, the numbers in circle B since we had a total for circle B. All right, so we'll move on. We'll assume that, that, that those are correct. And we can answer the questions now. How many of the patients or obese. All right, well, that's circle A. So if you add up 52, 60, 94, and 21, then we get that the cardinality of set A, people who are obese, 227 people. What percentage had all three of these risk factors? Okay, well, we had 94 people with those risk factors, all three. And then to get a percentage, divide by the total. 
690. And that is, let's see, point one three six dot dot dot. So we could say about 14%. And then finally, how many were not obese and did not have a family history of heart disease? Okay, so we need to ignore circle A, because those people are obese, and ignore or don't count circle B, those people had a family history of heart disease, and then we see who's left. Well, we have two regions left, these people and these. All right, so the options are either they only were stressed, that's their only risk factor, or they had none of those three risk factors. All right, so that would be, what is that, 400? Four, I believe, 404 people. Okay, we will stop there. Try some other examples from your book, the textbook, if you, if you need some um, different ones with different given information. But this is, I think, as, as challenging as it gets. So notice that for each of these problems, we followed kind of a similar process, even though the given information was different. Uh, we figured out what the universal set is, which we may not know how many are in the universal set, but we at least want to figure out what it is we're talking about. And then we found either our two or three sets, A, B, and C. And then you just start looking for given information that identifies one of those eight regions, or if it was one with two sets, then one of the four regions. So start with things that seem to be the most specific, and then you work out to things that are more general. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful, and I will see you in the next video.